Ah, good evening. a couple of weeks back I mentioned that we nipped over to Paris for a weekend during the summer. We decided not to take a proper holiday and we thought we'd use the money we'd saved to do the Paris trip in style and go by air. are quiet and peaceful. Oh, dear. I wish I could take an afternoon nap like those two. When you were that age, you probably had a clear conscience. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no wonder Mrs Binney has such a poor opinion of the police. Uh-uh, <laughs> now I know why you know so much about the case. Came round to see me this morning. Asked me to keep you two up to scratch. I tried to tell her it was nothing to do with me. I can imagine. She kept on and on about it. She said if she was in charge of the case, she'd soon have the thief by his heels. Yeah, well, I'm going to see Mrs Binney before she puts her foot in it. Now, go easy, George. Don't worry, we've got to catch this bloke. He's got them all watching each other like cats. You know, the feeling of guilt is a funny thing. It depends usually on being afraid of something, and it isn't always the law. Another time you get a man who is guilty of something, and yet he's able to convince himself that he isn't. And the story I'm going to tell you tonight concerned an evening when we had instances of both kinds. <laughs> Don't, now, please don't leave your Christmas shopping lying around for anyone to pinch out of your car. Take care. I'll see you next week. Good night.